everybody! I have shown so much this morning, so I'm sorry if it's like a 15 minute intro, but if you didn't see the last vlog, we got in pretty late last night um, because we had more important things to do, like say goodbye to Grandma Julie and Cousin Bonnie and all that stuff. So today we kind of just had breakfast, relaxed. It was very rainy all night last night. Um, the sun is starting to peak now and I'm so grateful for that. Obviously it did not wipe off my makeup. Whoa, should have looked in the mirror first before I picked this up. But we're camping, I don't really care. I spent the morning kind of getting the camper under control because our last trip to Birch Lake, we did so much playing and there was like no work, like no cleaning up the camper. So it was really hectic in here the whole time. My dishes were always like in the sink and I just washed them as I needed them. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of playing. And so this trip, I was like, I want it peaceful in here. I want to walk in here and be calm. It's not clean by any means, guys. Like there's still stuff on the bed I need to put away. There's still my dishes are drying with mother nature. Um, I still have stuff everywhere, but I just want it functional and peaceful in here to where if I need a dish, I don't have to clean it first. It's slightly embarrassing. Anyways, um, it has been a fantastic morning and honestly, I'm really grateful for the rain because I needed calm. I needed to not run around everywhere. I needed to not hurry out of the camper. I just spent like, I don't know, 45 minutes in here kind of cleaning things up we didn't have any of the rugs out last night like we didn't fully set up everything because we got in so late so I got the rugs out it's just been fantastic so we're going to make some hot dogs and s'mores Lance got that tray ready it looked like I did because I handed it to him but it was just because he wanted to climb out of the camper first you probably didn't need to know all that but <laughs> you know I like to keep it real okay the camper, most of the camper is like pretty picked up right now. Like this is manageable, lived in, but still not perfect. Okay, that's what I go for in my house too. But look at this. We're just gonna keep that closed. <laughs> all their blankets just get shoved in there. Uh, they all have sleeping bags now. And so it's all sleeping bags that are really hard to like fold up and pillows and all the things. So just so you're aware. I think I'm gonna go put these dishes away, blow out the candle, and head outside. Gotta come up and stop us. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you coming again? No, there's a pocket on the side. Mm -hmm. nice I didn't know that. Hot. Well, how long do you, hot? you look like you're in the fire, Lance. How is it? Good. <laughs> do you want catch up, baby girl? the hot dogs we ate the s'mores now we're gonna go explore delta a little i we've stopped in delta but we've never stayed here before so we're gonna go check out um delta brewing company maybe stop and see where they get their groceries because i'm really curious if like they, they just have to go all the way to fairbanks like an hour no almost two hours away the wildlife is real out here <laughs> oh my gosh i forgot to tell you guys last night as soon as i ended the last vlog Lance and I were sitting here by the fire and all of a sudden we hear a helicopter and it got so, 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 so loud. And it sounded like it was going to trim the trees. <laughs> and sure enough, this area back here is actually for the forestry. And that is probably, there's a helicopter back here. You can't see it. It's probably the same exact one that was flying around Birch Lake when we were there. And I was like, holy smokes, every adventure we've been on, there's been a helicopter. 
that's so crazy just like so random when we went to granite tours we saw that one little helicopter land and then birch lake there was the fire and then now we're literally at the forestry <laughs> like i think this is where all the guys stay i don't know there's been a lot of a lot of guys over there and uh we appreciate our forestry very very much because alaska can burn a lot we're gonna go explore delta a little We're here at the Buffalo Drive-In, Buffalo Center Drive-In, and they have amazing burgers. Like, people drive from Fairbanks all the time just to come get their burgers, but they also have ice cream that I've seen on their Instagram, and I'm really excited to try it. <laughs> Best ice cream I have ever had. So good. It was the, I got the strawberry swirl, which was like strawberry Dole Whip with vanilla. So good. Now we are currently at Rustic Blends and it is the cutest little building. Um, I've seen them on Instagram. I've wanted to stop by. I'm getting a Blue Lotus because it's like 3.30 and it doesn't make me jittery like coffee does. Anyways, <laughs> that's where we're at. We were trying to find if there was like a grocery store so I could take you guys in there and show you how expensive it is here. Um, or if there is a difference, I have no idea, but we're pretty sure that they have no grocery store, unless I'm wrong. All right, I think we found the grocery store here in Delta. This, there's like Wells Fargo, and I think they have temporarily set up their grocery store in this tent. Um, we saw some like fruit and vegetables on the sidewalk. So we're gonna go check it out uh, and see how much groceries are here and possibly get some other meat because all I brought was we had chicken for dinner last night and now all we have is hamburgers and hot dogs for the rest of the time. So we might need to get some steak or chicken. Plus burgers and all that. Oh yeah, buffalo plus, stuff. yes. Plus we're gonna go back to the buffalo place and it's just a lot of burgers. This is this is like all the outdoor stuff or all the stuff that can like be on the shelves. I'm trying to six dollars for soup. Six dollars for a, like a chunky's Campbell soup. Uh, can of chili is three fifty. I'm just giving you guys ideas. Um, please understand that this is very far away from a lot of other grocery stores, so things are going to be more expensive. Yeah, some of it is. Yeah, some of it's super. That's cheaper than what they have it at the... Yeah, no. Hold on. <laughs> this, this is Kirkland syrup, and it's like 11 or $12. They have it for eight. I'm confused. Yeah, a bottle of ketchup is $3. $2.50 for mustard. Oh, pickles. Oh, pickles. $6 for pickles? Yeah. Honestly, I am not. Um, it, it's, they're not very far out of line for what Fairbanks is. Obviously, some stuff is, but uh, I'm pretty impressed. A regular thing of Oreos is six dollars. I'm curious what like the refrigerated stuff is, like the meats and all that. These are the best pickle in the entire world, in case you're wondering. Alright, 
We're a big Delta. They have music playing, so I'm gonna get copyrighted, so I'm gonna do this quick. They have a pizza, um, nope. They have a pickle pizza, and we also got one called the 12 Mile, which is a bunch of meats, right? Yep. Which is a bunch of meats, and then we got a gluten-free cheesy bread. I think that's it. Anyways, we're gonna eat. Everyone's very hungry, very tired from getting in so late last night. <laughs> Back to the campsite, we're just hanging out. We just got the kids to bed. It's like, all right, my camera died. I started to end it. <laughs> it didn't die. Um, I think this, probably one of the handful of times this has ever happened, my entire memory card was full of footage. And not like footage I forgot to put on my hard drive, but just like all footage. That shows you how much editing I've been doing. Oh my gosh, it's okay. I've been enjoying life with my family and friends and that's what matters. So. Um, Lance and I were sitting here. We had to get the tarp out. It started sprinkling and there's like some dark clouds over here. A little recap on today. Um, it was fun exploring Delta. I have never visited Delta in my entire life. I've lived here most of my life and I've just never like been out here because there's not really a lot but what I will say is Delta has a lot of like personality the places that they do have like the Buffalo Center drive-in with the ice cream and the burgers we're going to the burgers tomorrow they have that Big Delta Brewing Company today was so fun like such good pizza it was just a good feeling to like sit outside that's where we wanted to sit when we saw this place after we went to Kastner Glacier a couple years ago, we saw the outdoor seating and we're like, we need to come back for that. They have like a cornhole set. They have like a little propane fire pit. I wish I would have showed more. Oh my gosh. They have like the little hook and ring. Have you ever guys seen that? Where it's like, it's just like a heavy hook and you like swing it and try to get it on and you get a point. The kids had like giant Jenga they had going. That was like so much fun to watch. It was just, it was just such a fun vibe like relaxed we ate pizza and breadsticks it was just a perfect ending to our day all right i'm gonna end this one because lance and i are playing <laughs> pass the pigs have you guys ever played this you literally roll the pigs <laughs> and how they land is how you get points it's embarrassing to say that i play this but i thoroughly enjoy playing with lance it is the, the, I will say, one of the oh, silliest games that is out there, okay? But the more you play it, and the more you get excited about how they land and the names for them, mm -hmm. the funner it becomes. So, <laughs> I, just, I gave Lance a hard time about this game. I was like, you really rebought that game? It is so, like, brainless. But then as we were playing, we started having fun, and it was just... It was just cute. So now the kids want to play. Yeah, now the kids want to play. <laughs> Actually, in when we were at Birch Lake uh, a few weeks ago, one of the kids had rolled it, and it just landed in a certain way that it rolled down the leg of the picnic table, and the only way to get it out was to flip the picnic table upside down, and that's what Lance did to get the pig out. So. <laughs> This has been wonderful. Tomorrow's gonna be probably a little more relaxed day of just hanging out around here. But today was really fun exploring Delta with the kids and Lance and just um, supporting the local places here because I think that's really important when you're visiting a new city, town. A new town. A town, it's a town. City is a strong word. There's very little here, okay? I don't wanna like play it off like there's like all this going on. It's very, very small, but it is such a sweet little Town. All right, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Squirrel, say bye to. <laughs> okay, bye.